Hello folks. Well, as many of you know and saw, the EDF in my Byron F-16 failed after I decided to try a flight with the higher than 15C batteries that I got from Venom. They were larger at 30C and puffed right after that flight and burned up the fan. Well, more about what Venom said and what the top RC fan manufacturer said later. But first I wanted to try something. I was Harbor Freight the other day and saw this Lynx leaf blower that claimed 150 mile an hour wind. I knew that should easily fly the F-16 so I decided to get it. It works on the same voltage LiPo as my LiPos, which is about 42 volts, and uses a brushless motor so I decided to get it. As motor, fan, ESA and the battery only cost $139 for the total. Well, this is way less expensive than 89 bucks times two of the batteries, $166 fan, $160 ESC the cost that I would need to replace everything in my F-16 just to make it fly again. Well that's over 500 bucks and what I burned up just in that one last flight. I'm having a hard time financing this electric F-16 at this rate so I thought I would at least try this leaf blower. Well you know as I always say you just never know unless you try. Well, this leaf blower kicks ass and seemed like it would work, so I took it all apart and made a control system to be able to run the fan. It's supposed to run an hour on the battery and not get hot, so I expect it to work. Here's how I set it up and what happened. Okay, here's the setup. This servo and this switch uh, control the on-off. So that's on my fifth channel landing gear, that's the plan. And so when I turn this on, it's going to turn on the power. And once the power's on, now this servo over here actually adjusts the speed up and down, and this one turns on the turbo. That's my speed controller, and this plugs into the battery, this connector. Okay, got the fan right here. I'm going to hold it tightly and I'm going to try it out. So first I'm going to hit the switch. Fan's on. <laughs> okay, here's the setup inside. I've got it all mounted now. Well, that didn't work. I might have been able to fly it, but I decided just not take the chance. So I took it all apart and put the blower back together and decided to find out why the motor failed and what kind of airspeed was really coming out of that blower. So um, here's what happened with the blower. Maximum here, and this is the turbo. So let's see what kind of... Seventy-one miles an hour. So now we'll hit the turbo. About ninety miles an hour. That's nowhere near one hundred and fifty. Okay, so I really got duped on the leaf blower speed, albeit really does an amazing job on the lawn and just as good as my gas blower. But I'll have to go back to the original ducted fan setup. Well, before burning out another fan, ESC, and the batteries, I've decided to contact Venom Batteries and ask them why the bigger C batteries burned up the motor. And you can see that they said from the text that the bigger batteries did not burn up the motor and that I actually needed even higher C batteries and they should be the 50C. 
He did offer to send me higher C batteries at $25 each under their warranty program. And I went ahead and ordered another Chang Sun fan and a Hobby Wing Opto speed controller from them. And uh, you can see the links in the description box. They even gave me a discount, which is also great. I like this fan, and it sounds much better than any other fan I've had, probably because of the shape of the blades. Again, this is a higher KV motor with 650 versus the other, which was 500. That means more RPM. Okay, just to explain KV a little bit. K is 1,000, and V is volt. So the RPM is based on 1,000 RPM per volt, which should really make this baby fly. Well, I'm going to use the 15C 5200 batteries that I used all summer and uh, they're safe. Uh, they read out at 5200 divided by 1000 times 15 which equals about 78 amps and should be fine. I'm going to put an ammeter on to test this stuff before flying the motor. The fan is actually the 5075 from Top RC. Okay, well this Hobby Wing 160 amp ESC has an auto shutdown that activates if it sees an over voltage, higher amperage, or too much heat. It automatically goes from full power to about a quarter power and stays running so you can land. So for this reason I lowered the throttle curve on the transmitter to just below the threshold where it will safely run. Here's an example of how it looks. I wish my first ESC had this. Okay, this is the two Zippy 5000 amp 25C. I've got my throttle set at 75% maximum, so I only draw 100 amps. Okay, okay, now we're going to try the 50C 5000 Venom batteries and see what kind of readings we get and if it's any higher than 100. Here we go. same 100 amps one of the things I really like about these tattoo gen face batteries is the the uh, balance plug connectors got a nice handle on it and it's easy to pull out without yanking on the wires and they're slightly longer too these are a lot more flimsy this is on the zippy and these are on the venoms they just you know if you uh, pull too hard you know they're a little hard to pull out and I got a lot of experience at it and they are hard to pull out fingernails are not These are the 5,200 milliamp 15C Tattoo Gen Ace batteries. And uh, let's see what kind of uh, amperage that draws. So here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
100 amps. Let's see what the tailpipe wind speed is. And we're gonna change it to mile per hour. Mile per hour. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, let's see what kind of pressure we get. Here we go. Fifteen point six pounds. So here's my conclusion. All the batteries different C rating only increase the runtime, not the actual amps to the motor. And uh, so that proves that the bigger Venom C batteries didn't actually burn up my first motor. I went over the uh, limit. Uh, to keep from going over the threshold of the ESC and the motor, I actually had to limit my transmitter's throttle's top end to 75%. Well, this keeps the amps below 100, uh, actually to be safe and prevents the ESC from going into the auto soft shutdown. The higher KV fan and higher amp rating definitely puts out more power, even when set to 100 amps. If you're on a PC, simply click the link to see how the flight went with the new setup. If you're on a smartphone, uh, you won't see it, so click the link in the description box to see the flight video. And thanks a lot for subscribing. See you next time. This is Nightflyer.